During a live discussion between Sneeko and Sheikh Uthman about Islam, Zurka, a Christian content creator, tried to promote some misconceptions about Islam. And Sheikh Uthman did a great job dismantling his ignorance and defending Islam against his lies. I already covered the first part of their discussion in my last video. You asked for part two, so there you go. Let's watch the first clip and come back. You know how in the Quran Allah has all these other names? Why is one of the yeah. names the deceiver? There is no name deceiver. Huh. <laughs> what what's the name in Arabic? Deceiver. Well, I'll, I'll, name the where I'll have it? to post it on Twitter and tag you today. I'll go. No, 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 don't 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 post it. You know Twitter. what I'm talking I'm about right. or no? I I, I do You've know. Never what you're heard that about. before no, that, ever that, in your life. There is no name of Allah that means the deceiver. You so you've never Allah's heard name, this Ar argument. Man? Look, bro. I, I look. have a feeling you've heard this before. Listen, you want to hear? It? I'm going to speak. Right? Allah's names like Ar Rahman. Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, the extremely merciful, Al-Wudud, the most loving. Always the same story. Allah is the deceiver. Allah is Satan. Allah is the moon god. Astaghfirullah. Why Christian apologetics is so weak, it's embarrassing. Allah is not called the deceiver in the Quran. What this Christian is referring to is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, and remember, O Muhammad, when those who disbelieved plotted against you to restrain you or kill you or evict you from Mecca, but they plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. No reputable translator ever translated the word makar in the Quran referring to Allah as deceiver. It only happens in the heads of Christian apologists. You can clearly see that whenever the word makar is mentioned in the Quran, it is never referring to Allah as deceiver. It's always translated as plotting and planning. We frequently hear the phrase God's plan, which in Arabic can be referred to as makar of Allah. This is a problem of language. Words in the Arabic language have a range of meanings depending on the person doing the action. What about the Bible now? This guy Zerka is a Christian who tried to defend the Bible. First King 22 verse 21 to 22. Finally a spirit came came forward, stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. By what means, the Lord asked, I will go out and be a deceiving spirit in the mouths of all his prophets, he said. You will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord. Go and do it. So according to the Bible, God sent a lying spirit to deceive people. This is the definition of do not throw stones when you live in a glass house. Those are the names called Asma al-Husna. What you're re referring to is a verse in the Quran that talks about matter. And this, the earliest scholars, the clear Quran explanation explains the meaning here is plot. The kuffar, they made their plans and plotted and Allah had his plans and he is the best of planners. And that's why if you get any standard English translation, whether it's Sahih International, whether it's Pixar, whether it's, uh, you know, you can go to Mohsen Khan or uh, Mustafa Khattab or any of those, you will find that this verse here means to plan. You don't know Arabic, I'm assuming. You don't know the names of Allah, I'm assuming. Oh, you just heard some Islamophobe say something somewhere without any references. You're just trying to throw it out. Now, you believe that God ordered that if you beat a slave so bad that they just live a day, there is no punishment because that's their property. That's what you believe? I mean, it's in the Bible, right? So that, that's what you like, believe 100%, you, huh? Like in your Quran, it says the sun sets in a muddy puddle. You believe that, It right? does not. Once oh, again, really? that's wrong. Again, this is what we call machine gun tactics. When you don't have answers, you start throwing random stuff around, hoping something will stick. He went from Makar to the sun sitting in a muddy spring. Allah never said in the Quran that the sun was sitting in a muddy spring. This is the verse he's referring to. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it as if setting in a body of dark water, and he found near it a people. We said, O Dukharnayn, either you punish them or else adopt among them a way of goodness. The scholars of Tafsir and common commentators of the Quran agree that this verse is depicting the scene that appeared to Dhul He saw the sun on the horizon of the sea, as if it was sinking into it at the time of the sunset. Allah never said that this was something that happens in the real sense. That's why it says he found it, referring to Dhul and doesn't say it was sitting in a spring of black muddy water. According to Tafsir ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir may Allah have mercy on him said, that is the way he saw the sun was as if it was sitting in the ocean, which is something that happens to 
everyone who stands on the shore. He sees the sun as if it is setting into the sea, when in fact it does not leave the celestial path on which it is firmly established. Again, the twisting and manipulation of the Quran is what the Christian apologists are doing online. But we are here, alhamdulillah, to expose their ignorance and to make sure to defend Islam against any slander, inshallah. Yeah, the, you don't, you're a flat you earther. Don't. You have to be a flat earther. Cause I am not a flat earther. But it says the earth is spread flat like a carpet. I already explained that earlier with this Nico. Really? Why don't you get... explain it right now? Explain it right now. I got you, bro. Or did I'll I get the Arabic right wrong? You did, but that's okay too. No, the right? Quran is correct. It is flat. That? It is flat. You want me to answer, bro, or no? Yeah, I want to know the flat one. I got you on all of them. Look, there's nothing you're bringing up that's new here, other than a little bit of your ignorance, but that's all right. Right? So, now, when you talk about the muddy water, this is Dhul Qarnayn, who said he saw the sun setting in the muddy water. That is not that it's set, that's his sight. For example, if I go to the Pacific Ocean, like you're in LA, go outside, and you see the sun setting into the ocean, it doesn't mean the sun goes in the ocean. That's describing what you see. Okay. All right? That's, that's the that's first misconception. That's fair. I appreciate your fairness. All right, good, man. About the shape of the earth, the scholars unanimously agree that the earth is round. Ibn Hizm, may Allah have mercy on him, said, The proofs of the Quran and Sunnah indicate that the earth is round. The verse that Zerke is referring to is, Have we not made the earth a resting place? The word for resting place in the Arabic language is mihadan, what it means that the earth is spread out and prepared for us and uh, for our benefit, so that we can cultivate it, build dwellings in it, and travel through it. Imagine if the earth was all mountains. Life would be difficult and even impossible. We can do the same thing to the Bible. Isaiah 11 verse 12. He will set up a banner for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Why does it say for corners of the earth. The only shapes that have four corners are rectangles and squares. So uh, does the Bible refer to the earth as flat? We Muslims are interested in discussing monotheism and worshipping the one and only creator. And Christians want to discuss side issues like science in the scripture. So and it explains bring, the word any, and everything. Any time I bring up an English translation, you'll say, actually, you got the word wrong. Actually, you got the word wrong. Actually, you, you got you the did. word. You don't know Arabic. Bro, you got the word you, wrong. That's all you guys bro, ever do, bro. If you, if you get the word wrong, what can I do? You're ignorant, bro. So right. Is the word flat the, the, in there? The store, is the word flat no. in there? Oh it has a, it's spread out. You don't know, then you don't know. Spread well, out. It's spread out. Yes, spread go out read a sphere. Let me explain it, right? The earth, for example, if it was all mountainous, we couldn't farm. We couldn't utilize it. Allah made the earth spread out so you can farm, you can utilize the land. Do you understand? Okay. Now, <laughs> I've already answered this now, right? <laughs> now, doing great. Let, uh, Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our Sheikh Uthman. He's doing incredible work sharing Islam and defending the religion of Allah. Please, I want everyone to go and subscribe to his YouTube channel, One Message Foundation, and to support his work. If you are interested in Islam, please read the Quran. And you can click the link in the description to claim your free copy of the Quran. You can watch this video of Sneeko and Sheikh Uthman refuting the lies of Zerka about Islam. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.